Welcome, dear traders. Asia Pacific markets opened Thursday's trading session with a broad sell off. Meanwhile, the escalating conflict in the Middle East dampened risk appetite. As a result, U.S. equity indicators fell sharply, and the negative sentiment was reflected in the Asian session. At the same time, Japanese government bond yields rose again, while Treasury yields soared to multi-year highs. Today's speech by Fed Chairman Jerome Powell will be highlight of the day in recent weeks. Stronger than expected statistics have shown the resilience of the country's economy ahead of an aggressive rate hike. It also reinforced the market's view that the regulator can maintain its hawkish stance for quite some time. However, Federal Reserve Board of Governors member Christopher Waller said yesterday the central bank could effort to hold off on interest rate increases. The policymaker also pinpointed that the regulator would watch and see how the economy evolves before making definitive moves. However, robust U.S. economic data have already reinforced market expectations that the Fed will continue to raise interest rates for an extended period. With the Fed's hawkish outlook, the U.S. dollar is strengthening and consolidating in the range of 106 and 50 and 106 and 60, holding its recent gains near 106 and 50 early Thursday. The greenback is also getting support from rising U.S. Treasury yields, and the 10-year Treasury note is back above 4.9 percent, a 16-year high. Concerns about the conflict in the Middle East are driving the growth of the US dollar as a safe haven currency, and today's report on the capital flows into the United States shows the continued interest of investors in the US assets. For example, in August 2023, net foreign acquisitions generated inflows of $134.4 billion. Meanwhile, foreign holdings of used treasury securities rose for the third consecutive month in August, reaching the highest level since December 2021. Most likely, this trend continued in September and October. The Japanese yen seems to be benefiting from its safe haven status today, and the yen fell moderately against the dollar 249 and 80. After uh, tumultuous start to trade in the dollar yen pair consolidated within the daily range of 149 and 60 and 149 and 90. During Thursday's Asian session, Japanese government bond yields also soared, with a benchmark 10-year government bond reaching its highest yield since 2007. This supported the yen, which is typically weakened by high U.S. Treasury yields and the divergent stances of the United States and the Japanese regulators. Therefore, the Japanese pair may see increased volatility today, triggered by comments regarding the Fed's interest rates. And today, Japan's Vice Minister of Finance for International Affairs, Masato Kanda, said that long-term interest rates were only one factor that determined currency rates. The policymaker also reiterated that currencies should move steadily and reflect fundamental data if necessary. The Japanese authorities are ready to intervene to protect the national economy. At the same time, Japan will not comment on its foreign exchange interventions or announce them in advance. In anticipation of the comments from Jerome Powell and other Federal Reserve speakers, the Australian dollar also fell today. Today, the Aussie tumbled in the range of 0.6296 and 0.6341. After correction, the currency consolidated near 0.63. Risk aversion on the global stock markets and falling oil prices were the main reasons for the Aussie's decline. And yesterday, the Australian currency reached a two-week high 
Today, the market retreated and futures for WTI fell to $88 per barrel. The New Zealand dollar also slumped today, however the currency is decent within the range of 0.5818 and 0.5860 was smoother than that of the Aussies. Nevertheless, the Kiwi closed the Thursday's Asian trading near 0.5820, the lowest level since November 2022. Meanwhile, elevated oil prices may continue to be a risk factor for the Indian rupee. Today, the rupee managed to strengthen slightly against the greenback. At the same time, the US dollar will likely benefit from the aggravation of a geopolitical conflict. In addition, the Indian currency may also face problems next week when a $5 billion currency swap measures. Traders are concerned that the regulator intends to buy US dollars for its reserves instead of extending the deal. Therefore, the, pair, uh, the dollar rupee pair is likely to move upward. And this week, the pair has been trading within a narrow range of 83 and 10 and 83 and 30. However, the subsequent buying could set the stage for an autumn high near 83 and 45. The pair may also surge to the psychological level of 84, and the Indian currency against the euro has been mostly bullish since early October, trading in the range of 87 and 88 and 30. Today it consolidated near 87 and 70 in the anticipation of the news. And that's all for now, but keep in mind that the market is changing constantly. Subscribe to the InstaForex TV channel. Leave your comments and questions under the video. We will be happy to get feedback and see you online soon.